Jupiter and the Gemini Twins. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm Marlene Hidalgo, science teacher from Miami, Florida. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plow Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. Right now, the constellation Gemini the Twins is at its best for viewing. And while most people have heard of Castor and Pollux, the two brightest stars in Gemini, not many people know the story behind this popular constellation. Plus, there have been quite a few astronomical discoveries made in Gemini over the years. What are we talking about? Let's show you. Okay, we've got our skies set up for the next two weeks, 8 p.m. your local time. Facing due south, where a third of the way up from the horizon, you'll see the brightest star in the heavens, Sirius, which marks the eye of Orion's bigger dog. And just up to Sirius's right, the bright stars which mark Orion himself. If you take Orion's ankle star, Rigel, draw a line through the belt stars past his shoulder star, Betelgeuse, you'll run right into the bright stars named for the famous twin brothers in Greek mythology, Castor and Pollux. Pollux, the brighter of the two, is closer to the horizon, and if you look closely, has a slightly orangish tint to it. Castor, on the other hand, although a tiny bit dimmer, is a bright white. For over 2,000 years, these two stars were considered the patrons of all sailors and seafaring people. In Greek mythology, Castor and Pollux were the twin sons of Leda, the queen of Sparta. In one version of the story, Castor's father was King Tyndareus of Sparta, Leda's husband. Pollux, however, was the son of Zeus. Zeus seduced Leda by transforming himself into the likeness of King Tyndareus. Therefore, when Castor and Pollux were conceived, Castor was mortal, while Pollux was immortal. Castor and Pollux were not only brothers, they were great friends and were always seen together. Wherever they would go and whatever they would do, you would never see Castor without Pollux by his side and vice versa. That is, until one day when Castor and Pollux were involved in a feud with their cousins over the ownership of cattle. During this dispute, Castor was accidentally killed. Pollux was so heartbroken by his brother's death that he begged Zeus to kill him so he could be with his brother in the netherworld. Since Pollux was immortal, he couldn't die. So instead, Zeus placed Castor in the heavens and placed Pollux next to him so they would always be together. To this day, you can see Castor leading the way, followed closely behind by his beloved brother Pollux. But as ancient as the stories of these twins are, the constellation Gemini is in a region where two other great discoveries were made. In 1781, the English astronomer William Herschel discovered the planet Uranus in the constellation Gemini. Uranus is the seventh planet in our solar system and takes 84 years to orbit the sun. Uranus is currently in the constellation Pisces the fish, it won't be in the constellation of Gemini again until the year 2033. Indeed, and in 1930, Clyde Tombaugh surprised the world with the discovery of everyone's favorite dwarf planet, Pluto, which, in 1930, was in the constellation of Gemini. Right now, Pluto is in Sagittarius, the centaur archer. Since Pluto takes 248 years to orbit the sun, it won't be in the constellation of Gemini again until I am 200 years old in the year 2167. Uranus and Pluto, however, are so far from the Earth that they're too faint to see with the naked eye. Furthermore, who wants to wait until they're old and gray before Uranus and Pluto are in Gemini again? Well, you're in luck. The giant planet Jupiter is much easier to see, and it's in Gemini this week. For the ancient Greeks and Romans, Jupiter was the planet that represented Pollux's father, Zeus. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun, and it takes almost 12 years for it to orbit the Sun. So, if you don't get to see Jupiter in Gemini this year, you'll have to wait until June of 2025 to see it in Gemini again. And again, who wants to wait that long? So get outside and enjoy Jupiter among the stars of the Gemini Twins. And remember, whatever you do, keep, keep looking, looking up. up.